All right. Um, here we are, and I'd like to go through a quick uh, look at some patterns that happen when you have a lens converging light onto an image. And what we have here is we have a lens with a focal length here that's known, and we have an object. This could be a candle giving off light, and the candle light goes off in all directions from the top here, and three directions that the light goes are being shown with this software. And you can see that parallel light get turned through a focal point. Uh, here, light that goes through a focal point gets turned. And finally, the light that goes through the center um, continues on. And also, all three of them converge to the same point. As I move the candle, as I move the object, you can see that the image over on the right moves locations. And down here, what I'm showing is a little pattern that'll just help us remember where these things happen. You'll notice right now I have the object placed outside of 2F, 2 times the focal length. And this can be way out here, anywhere in this zone that's outside of 2F, uh, I'm going to call far away. And if this is far away, then you can see that the image over here, the image is close. Close means in this blue area between F and 2F. And notice that wherever I am outside 2F here, wherever I am, the image over here continues to be between F and 2F. And if I'm at 2F, okay, for the object, then the image is also right at 2F. Okay, I don't have those quite lined up, but if I bring the object in between F and 2F, now we can see that the image over here, the image is going to be beyond 2F. So what we like to say is when the object is close, which means between 2F and F, then the image is far away, which means outside of 2F. And if the image is just right at 2F, because the object is just at 2F. So we'll call 2F just right, and the image and the object are the same distance. When the object is far away, then the image is close. And when the object is close, then the image is far away. And close being defined between F and 2F, and far away being defined as outside 2F. Now what happens as we get even closer? If I go to F, okay, if I get too close to F here, or right at F, you can see that the light coming out is parallel, and we get no image at all. So, so I like to say at F is just wrong. If at 2F is just right, so that you have the same sized image and object, being at F is just wrong because we get no image at all. The light coming out is parallel. Now, if we're too close, way too close inside F here with our object, then we see that the image doesn't even exist over here. The light is still diverging, and we don't get a real image at all. We get a virtual image, which is over on the wrong side. SI is negative. Remember that we have to use reverse ray tracing to find it. And this happens whenever your object is too close, which means it's inside F. And those are the various cases as you move your object um, from outside 2F to be t at 2F to when you're between 2F and F, when you're at F, and when you're too close, when you're inside F. And you should know what happens in all of those cases. I uh, hope that helped a little bit. Uh, more videos are coming.